Hello my fellow supports, Hot Rod 8 here, and tonight I want to do a really quick video over a post that Right Employee made. Now, this post that he made was in relations to the uh, quest passives that you get for the current support uh, gold items. Now, he states, one of our designers is doing a quick exploration into support items and their quest passive rewards to see if there's a way to kind of spice up the satisfaction and applicable power loaded into them to make way for a few other gameplay changes we're trying out for the preseason. I don't want to get into specifics yet since we haven't actually tested them. We get to test them for the first time tonight, which was just yesterday. And it says, to be clear, we're not just looking to buff the current passives, but rather replace them with something better. It's also a possibility we don't ship anything for it, but wanted to let you know we're taking some time to explore. Now, it's interesting that they're looking at the possible rewards that the quests can give you. As in Season 7, they already had some interesting quests and they ended up getting uh, them removed just because other lanes were able to abuse these. But basically, like Targon's Brace uh, had a shield battery, which was a permanent shield that regenerated slowly outside combat and also um executing minions regenerate some of that shield as well um and that was in season seven that was the crest reward um as for nomads medallion it actually gave you an elixir of skill that instantly grant you a skill point so if you're level nine and you got that quest it would actually act as if you're level 10 when so you're able to get an extra uh, skill point now and back then it what didn't let you get like your ultimate level early but it did let you put a point in another ability earlier than you normally would be able to and then frost fang gave you some extra movement speed whenever uh you triggered its uh bonus extra damage now as i said they got rid of these just because the other lanes were able to abuse these rewards um but it's interesting that they want to try to add something back to it because it really isn't that satisfying to be able to get your quests and only be able to use wards out of it. It would be cooler in order to get something like a regenerating shield or an extra skill in one of your abilities. But what do you think? Do you think they should be adding um, an extra uh, passive to the quest rewards or not? Uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your opinions as well as if you have any ideas what you would like to see on these gold items. I'd also love to hear that. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you can be pretty creative in that. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications and get updated on all things support related. Streams are on YouTube on Mondays and Thursdays, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and on Twitch randomly. So if you want to learn how to play support better from a Diamond player and have your questions answered live, feel free to join the stream community. If you're enjoying my content and want to consider supporting the channel, head over to my Patreon. There you can enjoy perks such as early releases of some of my videos, having me look at your OP.GG and giving you suggestions, and having your name shout out at the end of my videos like these lovely people here who are already contributing to the channel. Right on that, you guys have a great day today. Thanks much.